Now, trends in ionization energies for an element. So this is a very important topic. Now, look at the first graph. Don't look at the second graph. Look at the first graph, which is sodium ionization energies. So you can see that, uh, so the x-axis is number of electrons removed, okay? The x-axis is number of electrons removed. Then the y-axis is the energy required to remove those electrons. Now, let's first write the conventional electronic configuration of sodium. Sodium has 11 electrons in total, so it will be 281. The conventional electronic configuration of sodium is 281. So first, we will remove this one electron. Now, if you see, we, we have some, this is the amount of energy needed to remove this one electron. So you can see that we start from here. We remove the first electron. Then you see there is a large increase in the in ionization energy. And there is a large increase. So when you see that there is a steep increase in the ionization energy, there is a change in shell. Because if you see, after removing this one electron, this is the first shell, this is the second shell, this is the third shell. When we remove this one electron, we have eliminated the third shell. Now we have come to the second shell. The second shell is much closer to the nucleus compared to the third shell. And that's why you can see that there is a steep increase in ionization energy because the atomic radius has now decreased. The atomic radius has now decreased because obviously you have removed one electron. So you've eliminated a shell completely and you have come to a lower shell as the outermost shell. So there is a steep increase. Then you see that there is a slight increase, not a steep increase, till 8 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So there is a steep increase till 8, not, not a steep, there is a mild increase till 8 electrons because now we are removing electrons from the second shell. So you can see that whenever we remove an electron, the ionization energy increases. Now this is because when you are removing an electron, the, the atom becomes positively charged because obviously there are more protons than electrons now. So when you are removing an electron, there are more protons than electrons and that's why, uh, the, the, that's why due, to the, due to the overall po positive charge, the outermost, outermost shell will move closer to the nucleus because when the charge on the atom is greater, the pull on the outermost shell is greater. When the, when the atom becomes positively charged, it starts pulling the outermost shell closer to itself. And because it starts pulling the outermost shell closer to itself, uh, the atomic radius decreases even further. And because the atomic radius decreases even further, ionization energy increases. Now you see that there is a mild increase for 8 electrons because there are 8 electrons in the second shell. And, and then... And then once we have removed all eight electrons, there is a steep increase in the ionization energy. Now this is because when you've removed all eight electrons, you have eliminated the second shell as well. So whenever there is a steep increase in energy, in ionization energy, you should know that there is a change in shell. This is a very important point to remember because you've eliminated the second shell. Now you're back to the, you, you, now you are, you've come down to the first shell, which is closest to the nucleus. And because it is closest to the nucleus, the force of attraction between the nucleus and electrons in the first shell is greatest. And that's why most amount of energy will be needed to remove these electrons. So again, a very steep increase after, after the eight electrons from the second shell have been removed. So, so what this tells you is that whenever there is a steep increase in ionization energy, it means that there, is, that there has been a change in the shell. Now, we can explain this further using the, the, using the, the other graph, which is subsequent ionization energies of aluminium. Basically, the same graph, but for aluminium this time. Now, if you look at aluminium, it has 13 electrons in total. So, an electronic configuration of 283. So, it's, it, the, it's, um, it's, its electronic configuration is 283. It's conventional electronic configuration. First shell, second shell, third shell. Now, we will start removing from the third shell, which is the outermost shell. So, you can see that there is not much increase in the ionization energy, a very mild increase, because you are still on the same shell. You are still on the same shell. However, once you have removed all three electrons, you can see that there is a steep change. There is a steep increase in the ionization energies. And there is a steep increase because you have come to the second shell. So, again, 
change in shell that's what we are indicating change in shell yeah 